nice day so I thought we'll come out and this time we're going to head a different direction from where I've been heading before because I've done two walks already one was east one was south and I think this one's west come along with Dom and Diggy The old building it's Scott House. My friend worked there for years, it was like a mental hospital, but it's been shut down a couple of years ago. And about two days ago, it was on fire. And so I thought I'd just have a look at it. Yeah, you can just see it there in the roof, can't you? I'm glad it worked worse than that. Now, I've never been down that bit, and because we're adventuring today, we're going to go down and see what's there. I'll give it. Bit. You just look in the tree. Oh. Oh. Come on, you're going the wrong way. As always, don't go near the edge. Diggy, it's 100 foot drop. Oh, I've never seen that before. Oh, it's got windows and everything. Oh, come on, Diggy, let's get over there and go to investigate that. Oh, love new things. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I don't think you can tell how beautiful it is on the camera, that's the problem. Oh, I've got to get in there. Come on, Jake. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. I'll dig you straight in there. I'd let him off his lead usually, but not with that waterfall drop there, because he'll fall off the end. Ah, oh, he's too, he loves paddling. Are you paddling? Oh, he's having a little drink. Oh, it's beautiful. I tell you, I'm, I'm amazed that I've walked past this so many times. There's a bridge there as well. Look at him heading for edge. Don't go near that edge, Diggy. Look how clear it is. Oh, I want to go paddling in it. Let's have a look at that bridge. Oh, oh it's beautiful. I know I keep saying that on these walks, but. I get overwhelmed by the beauty of it and the trouble is the trouble is you can't you can't capture the whole thing on a camera. You know as much as you think it's nice. It's not as nice as what I'm looking at. It's absolutely beautiful. We need to find a way of getting round to that old building though. Oh, Come on, you've gone mad now, Diggs. Look, look, he's gone, he's, lo he's losing it. Look straight over edge, he'd be. Straight over. Come here, you daft dog. No. Look, look at him. Diggy, come here. You're mental. And there's a bit of the water wheel. And that would have been the wood bit. Oh, I'll tell you what, that is absolutely beautiful. I can't, sorry, keep saying it, I'm just overwhelmed. Well, with that, I mean, I've must have walked past that muddy path about 70 times and never gone down it because I thought, oh, it's too muddy. Well, look at the beauty that it was about. I'm overwhelmed, I really am overwhelmed. I was at, so I'm gonna have to go and um, search out a bit of history about that when I get home because I'm not quite sure what it was. Just apart from it, it was beautiful. How much money would you slide down there for? <laughs> I don't know that you can tell how that must be about 200 foot. That's absolutely incredibly steep. And this was the path to the other mill where I'm going to, which is right in the bottom of there. 
But it's amazing, you know, the things, every now and then you can see a little bit of the road that's left, like here. If you look, you can see, I love how you can see all the little gouges, you know, where the tracks went off the horse and carts. But it does make me wonder how many fell off the edge and went over there. There's got to have been a few. Be a good boy today, Diggy. Are you going to be a good boy? You don't think so? Are you going to try? No, I didn't think you were going to. Right, we're going a bit off the beaten track now because we're going to go. I'm going to show you a church in the middle of nowhere, and we'll have a little wander around the graveyard. Not because I'm a ghoul. I just like looking at the old gravestones. Nature's got to be one of the most beautiful things in the whole world. You know, it's got its own life, its own power. It takes everything back and it's so calming. You know, I, I feel absolutely lovely and calm now. I've not been thinking about food for about an hour and a half. <laughs> so, so I keep thinking about food, I put half a stone on since I've been cooped up in the house cooking. So I'm going to have to diet that off before I get out again. <laughs> have you gone fat as well? <laughs> I was going to try and put it a nicer way, but there's no other way to put it. Just are you a hubba bubba? Down I'm not a ghoul, you know, like in graveyards. I just really like the old stones, especially the really historical ones, because you can go in some gravestones. I mean, I've been in one in, um, you know, in the Brontes lived, and there was a lot there that had died from the plague, and you can see all the dates all the same, and all the families in the same grave, and although it's a bit gory, it, it's still quite historically interesting, at least to me anyway. I've been training him with a whistle today. It's working quite well, actually, isn't it? Working quite well, you whistle. Get no, get, get, get back. Sit down. I mean, this one, Mary Ann, really sad. Died, age thirty-five, and uh, his wife died when she was twenty-seven. Oh, oh, that one's sad. In memory. Who died September 1852, age 13. Oh. oh, and 1844, age 28. Didn't live very long, did they? And oh, look, we're round the back. Diggy, come on, we're, in, we're stuck in the wrong bit. 1856, age 16, 39. Oh, they didn't live very long, did they? Oh, that one, aged one. Are you enjoying it here? Come on. Go, we'll let you run round the fields in a minute. Going down again now, and apparently, so the story goes, there was a battle between Oliver Cromwell down here somewhere. Well, I think I'm in the right bit. Isolation. 
progressing of week seven now. I mean, I don't know I haven't gone bonkers, really, to be honest. I mean, like I said before, the, these walks keep me sane. Otherwise, I wouldn't have seen anybody to have a chat to, not a soul, for seven weeks. And I'm missing my metal detecting. Really am. But I'm very excited for the new <laughs> Apex coming out on the 15th of May. Got to get that in. It's because it's all I think about now. I'm just like obsessed by a new metal detector. It's keeping me going till the 15th of May. I think the battle's round here somewhere. Although I can't see him being battling at the bottom of the a valley. I think it's probably in these fields at the top. Oh no, million, there's always a million stairs everywhere you go up here, you know. You lot that live on flatland, you don't know how, how lucky you are. <laughs> this might have been the battlefield, I'm not sure. I mean, I might be talking rubbish here, but it's just what someone's told me. And where it's in my head, I can't find anything about it on the internet. More steps. Go on then, if you're going in. Oh, it's, it sticks too big for you. At least it's not half a tree like it usually has. See, Rochdale is nice, isn't it? Should ignore it next time you see it on the news, where it's saying Rochdale's a bit of a dump. You need to think back to these videos and think, no, that's just the media showing what it wants to, which is just one little tiny, horrible bit. But the rest of it's beautiful. That's all I say, isn't it? Beautiful. Just leave it and come and have a paddle. Go and, go and find a hammered coin in there. I bet there is hammered coins in here, you know. Should do a little bit of mudlarking again, shouldn't I? See what's here. I look in them edges sometimes, see if I can see a Bronze Age axe head sticking out. Not been able to yet, obviously, because he would have told you. But we live in hope, don't we, Diggs? Trickling water, it's lovely, isn't it? I really love my walks. I've never been in this, this lockdown and not been able to go for me, me daily walk with Diggy. I would have gone mental, but this is sort of keeping me sane. We set off this morning, I had a big puffy eye, I don't know if it's still puffy, feels a bit better now I've been out, but um, yeah, I don't know what was up with it, good power of makeup, if I hadn't had makeup on I couldn't, I couldn't have come on the camera because I looked like I'd been boxing, it was that bad, I don't know what was up with it, anyway, now I just look like a panda, so it's alright, looks a bit gold in that, imagine if I found a bit of gold, oh, No, it's not, it's not a bit of Viking gold, that. There must be something in here that's worth something. I bet there's hammered coins in here. You can take the detector off the girl, but you can't take the girl off the detector. Or something like that. Can't get her over how clear it is. Bet you lot are all thinking, get in there with your detector, don't we? We're out of lockdown, aren't you? I was thinking. You see the remnants there? That's the mill that we're going to now. That's called Paper House Mill. Now that used to be a mill, in about 1780 it was built. It started off with being a fuller's mill, which was for making wood. And then it changed into a paper mill at some point. on it. I don't feel spooky down here, I really like this, this mill, it just feels really really lovely. I always feel happy here, I could sit here for ages, in fact sometimes I do, just sit there and let Diggy just paddle around. <laughs> oh, it 
loves it. Right, more stairs. We've got them stairs now going to take us right to the top. So, I'll have to excuse me if I'm huffing and puffing when I get there. <laughs> Enjoyed your trip round Ashworth Valley with me in Rochdale. Um, it's not very far out of Rochdale if you put Google Ashworth Valley and then you'll find it. And I've, I haven't walked around all of it, there's more of it than this. I've only just sort of tickled one edge of it. It's a beautiful place, it really is. Anyway, I'm off home now. It'll probably take me about another 15 minutes up the road to, to get home, but I love it here. This is one of our favourite walks. Okay, I'm off then. So I hope you're all staying safe. Missing you all. I'll see you again soon.